Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Identity 5. Today we're going to be playing with the accessory that it's going to be for uh, Reaper, which is called... Um, let, me, let me one second, <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Yes, Rose Game. This accessory, it's part of the Valentine's Day event. Um, it's actually on the store and you can buy it for mm. clues, actually, uh, actually, not for fragments, which is really, really <laughs> nice. You can actually tell that this accessory was from the first accessories that they released when the game first came out, so <laughs> it's actually really funny. And today I'm going to be playing with the Baker skin because, uh, well, today is basically Valentine's Day. So uh, I hope everyone is having a very cool uh, Valentine's Day and you are... Uh, having a great time with your, with the people that you love, no matter if it's your family, your lovers, your friends. Uh, in any case, I really hope that you're enjoying your day so far. Okay, so we're going to be playing on Lakeside against a uh, couple, actually, uh, of a patient and psychologist, a puppeteer, and I didn't saw who was the other guy. But yeah, <laughs> let's actually play with this. So the only downside that this accessory has is that the um that the accessory doesn't let you hit people when you have someone in during the carry animation. The Reaper only does animation like if, like if he's looking at the survivor like, oh my god, you're so sexy, mm, I like you. Something like that. <laughs> it's, it's really stupid. But uh, regardless, it's a very cool accessory if you want to have someone. I actually saw the silhouette of a survivor going there in, the, in that place. I have peepers, which means I can... Um, I can catch them off guard. I assume it was a patient, wasn't he? Yes, it is. And I think he will hook himself out of the boat. Oh, no, that's the puppeteer. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do all the damage possible. Okay, he didn't use his puppet, which is nice. Okay, he got the hit. <laughs> he didn't use his puppet at all, which is really, really bad. That means that he's going to be having a very big, uh, be a very big issue. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, he does this animation of a carry. You carry them, you carry these people on your arms, but you cannot hit. He only does this animation, and you cannot chair either until until the animation is done, which is very, very bad. So if you play ranked with Reaper with this accessory, I will not recommend you to bring it at all. Because you're basically basically going to handicap yourself. The bar may, the I think the this guy will turn into a puppet the moment that I go after him. He will go back to the big boat again. Not ideal either. Three, two. If he turns into a puppet, I'm just going to hit him with my buggy blade. If not, that's fine. Into the boat, huh? This guy just really likes the boat, as it seems. Mm -mm -mm. Fly well. Yeah, okay, into the basement you go, you piss me off. <laughs> nah, not really. But I'm getting rushed for no good reason at all. Uh, I will use a peeper here, and I think the smart thing will be changing to teleport. Because Cypher Rush is at the order of the day, unfortunately. First hit. Nice. Someone else is coming. No, it doesn't seem like it. This is a situation where I will have love to actually be able to hit people with my with someone on the pop on the on the balloons because as you can see I'm not going to be able to do shit. <laughs> Really? There you go. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go for the patient now. Very fitting for Valentine's Day, to be honest. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I don't see... Okay, I see the barmaid decoding, so let's go after her. Nice. Let the other guys heal each other there. She doesn't have any more the any Dublins. Uh, no, you will 
not be able to make it on time. Yeah. That sucks. That's fine. There's two ciphers left. I assume they are not going to be decoding because they are healing each other. I'll just go for the bar mage. We have teleport, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue. She will not be able to kite us for 60 seconds, though. At least I hope so. Yep. Nice. Let's see. They are decoding the cipher in the in the in the shipwreck. So. <laughs> I'm going to chair you and then I'll go after them if I see them decoding. <laughs> shipwreck and, and the top of the shipwreck, okay. The one on the on the bottom actually left it, which is a patient. Lol. I don't think he will make it on time though. Yep. Oh wow, your range. Reaper, please. And you, I think you messed it up. Yep, you did. Okay, that's good. And yeah, as you can as you can see, basically, <laughs> basically this uh, accessory almost messed my match up because I wasn't able to hit the psychologist with the uh, with the balloons. I was just being able to cheer him. <laughs> so yeah, if you play ranked with Reaper, to never bring this accessory because you're going to. Handicap yourself. I saw you walking here. Not sure if you hide. If you hide though, I'm not sure how the fuck that hit you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Very funny match. I liked it. They actually did good. The puppeteer actually didn't do good at the first time, but then he actually recovered himself um, after being rescued. So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't that bad. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and again I hope you have a very wonderful uh, Valentine's Day. So yeah, see you on the next video. Bye bye!